Good day, senior high school students who are watching UCSP Live. Last time, you have learned the importance of cultural relativism. This time, we are going to discuss the biological, cultural, and socio-political processes in human evolution. I hope you are interested in learning more about this topic. Let's get started. Our learning objective is that at the end of the lesson, you will be able to analyze significance of cultural, social, political, and economic symbols and practices. Let us first assess your prior knowledge regarding symbols and human practices. In this activity, you are going to choose the correct answer based on the question given. What is the earliest writing form in the world which was developed in Mesopotamia? Runes or cuneiform? You got it right. The correct answer is cuneiform. Number two. Philippine flag is an example of black. Political symbol or economic symbol? If your answer is political symbol, you are correct. Number three. What is the food production practices of humans under pastoral society? Cultivating plants or domesticating animals? The correct answer here is domesticating animals. Four. What practices do religious and spiritual dance belong to? Cultural practices or political practices? If you answer cultural practices, you are right. Number five. In the Neolithic period, the modern men appeared. Which of the following were the accomplishments of humans during this period? A. They learned to create pots or B. They learned how to fish. Yes, letter A is the correct answer. They learned to create pots. Our pre-activity is about the different tools and their practices in early societies. As the environment changes, we continuously grow and find ways to make maximize our effort as we live. It is very evident in the different stages of human cultural evolution. Let us define first symbols. Symbol is an object, word, or action that stands for something else with no natural relationship that is culturally defined, such as gestures, signs, objects, signals, and words that help people understand the world. Next is practices. Social practices refer to everyday practices and the ways these are typically and habitually performed in a society. Example, festive events. The physical as well as mental development of early human beings help them understand and adapt to their existing environment. As we go on, you will learn the different cultural and political development happen to human beings. The first cultural period is the Paleolithic Age. During these years, people were nomads and able to use simple tools and weapons made of unpolished stone. The caves serve as their shelter. They gathered plants and hunted animals to feed themselves and they used fire to do so. The next period is Neolithic Age. During this period, there was a wide-scale transition of many human cultures from a lifestyle of hunting and gathering to agriculture and settlement kind of society, which eventually led to population increase. The people in this era were using polished stone, the pet on domesticated plants and animals, built up villages and towns, and they learned pottery and weaving. People kept on discovering things for their own convenience, 
so the next period happened, and it is called the Metal Age. The use of metals such as bronze, copper, and iron produced a new historical development from the cradle civilization of Egypt, Mesopotamia, Persia, including India, and China, which later spread throughout Asia. During this age, agricultural tools were developed with bronze, such as plows and sickles, military weapons like swords, spears, and shields, as well as household utensils like jars, bowls, and cups. Likewise, a more developed social, cultural, political, and economic system were improved. One of the earliest states and civilizations was found in the Fertile Crescent, which is known as the Mesopotamian Civilization. The word Mesopotamia is a Greek word for land between two rivers, which is often referred to as a cradle of civilization. One of the first writing systems, the cuneiform, is one of the most important civilizations in the history of Mesopotamian culture. Every city in Mesopotamia had its own government, rulers, warriors, patron god, and functioned like an independent country. Another ancient state and civilization was the Egyptian civilization. It emerged more than 5,000 years ago along with the River Nile in the northeast of Africa. In the recent decade after the two world wars, people are becoming more active in their government and state affairs, in which people become the source of political power and government rules. This evolution in the government is known as the process of democratization or simply democracy, the rule of the people. Moving over, have you ever wondered what society was like before your lifetime? During the course of human history, people have organized themselves into various types of societies depending upon their level of technology and their related methods of subsistence. As early civilization arose, six types of human societies also developed, and these are hunting and gathering, horticultural, pastoral, agricultural, industrial, and post-industrial. The first human society is hunting and gathering society. Their food production is about collection of wild plants, hunting of animals, and they constantly move around to search for food. Second is horticultural society. Their main form of food production is fruits and vegetables grown in the farm or garden. They form relatively small settlements. Third, pastoral society. The focus was on herding and domesticating animals. They also organized small male leadership. Next one is agricultural society. Under this society was domestication of animals used to plow crops and fields. They also had irrigation and development of cities and some form of technology. Fifth, industrial society. Production of manufactured goods and urbanization happened here. They have advanced sources of energy. Last one is post-industrial society. The introduction of modern technology and equipment, mass computerization, and white-collar service occupations has changed the man society into a more complex one. Culture, such as beliefs, knowledge, customs, Skills, attitudes, and languages change over time as humans also evolve to adapt to the emerging needs of society. 
These are some of the implications of social, cultural, political, and economic evolution of humans. The rise of civilization and states led to urbanization, economic focus, political power, and material development. Because of economic factors such as trading, leadership among city-states began to be more organized and developed. These changes made by man through his interaction with the environment established the different cultural, political, and economic evolution that determines our own symbols and practices. This time, we will now proceed to Q&A portion. You may type your question along with your name and school in the comment section of this Valenzuela Live. I think we now have the first question from Joanna. What is the significance of Manungul Jar during Neolithic period? A very nice question from you. Manungul Jar is a burial jar used during Neolithic period. The significance of this artifact interprets the cultural process of practicing the traditional way of storing the bones of someone who was previously buried in the ne Neolithic period. So let us wait for another question. I think there is one more question, which came from Anthony. The question is, Mom, what is the most significant event happened during early civilization? Thank you, Anthony. The development of earliest writing form, which is the cuneiform in the Mesopotamia, was the most significant sociocultural evolution happened in early civilization because it carries the beginning of history and it replaced old method of communication. So for your other questions, you may ask your subject teacher during your follow-up discussion. Thank you so much. Let us now proceed to our short assessment. You may write your answers directly in the comment section or in your notebook. Read the statement carefully. If the statement is true, write the word agree. If the statement is false, write the word disagree. Let us begin. One. Domestication of animals started during horticultural society. If you disagree, you are right. The domestication of animals started during pastoral society. 2. A symbol is an object, word, or action that stands for something else. If your answer is agree, you are correct. 3. Hunting and gathering societies are nomadic, which means that they move constantly in order to find food and water. Yes, agree is the correct answer. The majority of the members in the society spend their time looking for food. 4. Some examples of economic symbols are used to represent political, such as banners, flag, or motto of a politician. I bet most of you answer disagree, and disagree is correct answer because this statement pertains to the use of political symbols, not economic symbols. 
5. The metal stage period started the new historical development, cradle civilization of Egypt and Mesopotamia. The correct answer is agreed. 6. The Neolithic period is the period where people learned farming, domesticating animals, and used leaf cloth as protection of their skin. The correct answer is agree. Thank you for answering the short assessment. For some clarification regarding today's lesson, you may ask your UCSP teacher during your follow-up discussion. This time, I will give you an assignment. You may write this in your notebook and show your answers to your subject teacher during your follow-up discussion schedule. I will show you some pictures of symbols or practices. Write the significance of the symbols and practices in our country. One is Ipugawara Stabasis. Two, Pagmamano. Three, Philippine Eagle. And four, Farming. Thank you, senior high school learners, for joining me here in Valenzuela Live. Before I bid goodbye, I want you to contemplate to this question. What are some of the changes that you have experienced in the past 10 years? In the future, what do you think is the kind of society that the new generation will have in this world? That's all for today. Stay safe and goodbye.